Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Arm here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the most recent patch that came to Black Desert on May 4th of 2022. Go over all of the important information from the patch, as well as any events, that way you don't miss anything. This one has a couple of really, really cool events for horse training, as well as some major changes that a lot of people have been waiting for. So yeah, without further ado, oh wait, no, no, quick, quick, beg for subs. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Helps to grow it, you stay up to date with new content, we all win. And now, without further ado, let's get into it. And let's start off with the events, like we always do with every single one of these videos. And the first set of events, there's two pages of them here, but they're all centered around horse training and Imperial horse delivery. So first things first, we have a couple of horse delivery events. If you don't know what Imperial horse delivery is, that evil do us harm guy, if you go to his YouTube channel and type in horse in the little search box, has a ton of horse guides. You'll want to watch the one on Imperial horse training. It's also linked in the description below. But yeah, whenever you do Imperial Horse Delivery now, you're going to get additional Flowers of Oblivion that you would not get normally. So Flowers of Oblivion are used for Tier 10 Horse Upgrades. A lot of people aren't really there yet. But yeah, if you are going to be shooting for that, nice time to be picking these up. In addition to getting the Flowers of Oblivion, you are also now going to get Imperial Training Delivery Invoices. These things can be exchanged for various rewards that you see right here. So whenever you turn in the various tiers of horse, you get a fixed number of Imperial Delivery Training Invoices here. They can then be exchanged at the various NPCs over here on the left side of the screen for the rewards that you see over on the right. So upgrade items for tier 9s, an RNG horse box, gear for your horse, or a tier 8 horse emblem box for 360 of these, which is pretty rough. Like, it takes a long time to get. But don't worry, part 3 of this event fixes that problem. Part 3, if you take the train delivery invoices to the NPC Warpa at Stonetail Horse Ranch instead, which, if you don't know where that is, open up the map here, it is to the right side of Heidel, so here's the city of Heidel. Over to the right, you will see the Stonetail Horse Ranch. The Warp NPC is going to be right here. So find the NPC Wapra. I have been saying Warpa, haven't I? Oops. Find the NPC Wapra, and instead bring the event Imperial Training Deliveries to them, and you have different items that you can exchange for once per family, including for only 15 of these invoices, a Tier 8 White Horse. So that means you only got to do a little Imperial Horse Delivery if you wanted to get this, and it's pretty, really nice. But actually, with event number two here, you don't have to do any. Because every single day that you log into the game, you're going to get free Imperial Delivery invoices, a total of three of them per day if you log in for 90 minutes. This event is running for two weeks, which means you're going to get enough free Imperial Delivery invoices to go take over to this NPC and get a free Tier 8 horse that already has instant acceleration. So yeah, free Tier 8 horse is basically what this event is for logging into the game for five days. A lot of words that I threw out there really, really quickly, but basically... If you do Imperial Horse Delivery, which Evil Duos Arm has a guide on, you're going to get these bonus items. These bonus items can be used to redeem for different gear, or you can take them to this NPC and get a free horse. If you don't want to do any of that, just log into the game and you can get the free horse anyway. Then the second portion of the second event is going to provide you with bonus mount EXP, as well as horse breeding benefits. So if you're a horse trainer or you were thinking about getting into horse training, this is a great time to do it. These buffs are lasting for two weeks through May 18th and can also be viewed in-game with the EXP Up event at the top center of the screen. Now the second, or I guess the third event that's going on is a Gift of Fresh Tulips. Not one of the better events, not gonna lie, but hey, if you want to do it, head over to the NPC R in Calpheon if you don't know where she is. Over to the left side of your screen over here, you will see some trees just above the Calpheon little marker. She's hanging out over here. Talk to her, she's going to give you a seed. Plant the seed in your garden, it's gonna give you some tulips. Take the tulips to the NPCs over here on the left to get random buffs. I guess they're not random, they're pretty well defined, but you get buffs here. Um, nothing too crazy, kind of out of your way to do a lot of these. They're all based in Heidel, so like if you wanted to use these buffs somewhere else, not really the best kind of situation. Now that's it for events. We can now move on to a little infographic that they posted about the season server. So if you are still confused as to how the season server works, you can check out this little infographic. Hopefully it'll help you to understand it a bit better. If not, that Evil Duos Harm guy has like tons of guides on season servers, so he's pretty pretty good about that too. But yeah, I'll link this in the description below for anybody that wants to see that. The next thing that I want to point out is another notification they sent that on May 11th, the price of costumes on the marketplace are going to change the max price, the listing price. So almost doubling the price there. Keep that in mind, May 11th, if you are looking to purchase costumes, also the amount of Valk's Cries or Cron Stones from them are increasing as well. All things to keep in mind, depending on how you use costumes, whether you're a fashion is the true end game type of person, or you want to push for that pen black star because you're a maniac. So keep that in mind. With all that stuff out of the way, we can now move on into the actual patch notes themselves. And these patches bring a couple of changes, plus some stuff that a lot of people are interested in. First things first, we have the artifact and lightstone inventory rework that was rumored 
during the Calpheon Ball, so if you open up your inventory in-game by pressing the I key on the keyboard, navigate to Artifact Inventory in the bottom right corner of the screen, you will see a new UI that is your artifacts and lightstones inside of them. Frees up some inventory space for your character, making your life a little bit easier. In addition to this, artifacts and lightstones now no longer have durability, so unlimited durability, they won't break, which is also useful. If you used a brand stone on those, they will be mailed to you and you will get a reimbursement. Next up, we have Dracania Graduation. So a lot of people have been asking me, when is graduation, when is graduation, when is graduation? Graduation started today, so I guess yesterday for when this video is coming out, May 4th, running through July 6th, if you'd like to early graduate. In order to early graduate, you must have used your Fugar's timepiece as well as completed the Black Spirits Adventure, Black Spirits Pass thing. If you'd like to graduate early, the quest can be started similarly to any other season server, the past few seasons anyway, by talking to the NPC Layla, which you can get directed to by Fugar. So if you talk to Fugar and say, I want to graduate, he's going to send you to the NPC Layla, who's like hiding in this house, I think, in Valia over here. Play through her little quest line and you graduate and everything is right. So if you're interested in graduating, you can go for that. Graduating is going to give you the same rewards it's given you all along. If you are new to the game and have no idea what I'm talking about, just stay on the season server, I promise it's better. But if you're trying to get off, get out of here and get rolling, you get the same stuff you've always gotten before. If you're wondering what this season's graduation item is, it's an Advice of Alex Plus 100. Would you have believed it? If you're new to the game and going to be graduating anyway because you don't listen to Evil Do Us Harm, well, you're going to want to pick up the necklace first, the Pen Kaposha necklace. If you already have the necklace, go for the Pen Kaposha ring. If you already have the ring, go for the Pen Kaposha belt. And if you already have the belt, go for the Perla Star. After that, you're stuck with the Advice of Alex like me. But that's my recommended order for these items. Necklace, ring, belt, star. You can only pick either the ring or earring, make sure to pick the ring. I think it defaults to earring if you just click through, so make sure to pick the ring. Next up, we have the Dracania Awakening Weapon little upgrade thing that you can do, so I believe I've seen some rumors that this thing is going to be a spear or something, but it's not out in the game yet, so in preparation for that, you can go ahead and upgrade this stopwatch thing, pendant looking thing, I don't know. So you can upgrade this to the pendant with your season materials, and then when the Awakening releases, this will turn into the new Awakening Weapon. You can purchase the Tubla Pendant as a quest reward or by purchasing it from the blacksmith in any major city for a singular Tubla Ore. Same way that you could buy them from other characters. So all you got to do is go to like a blacksmith, talk to the blacksmith, and you'll be able to buy it. We already covered all of the events, so nothing to talk about there. No major changes to any characters, so we can keep moving along there. Descriptions of a ton of items were changed. They give you more information on how to use them. So a total of 322 items had descriptions changed. The contribution EXP for side quests in Valencia, Camisilvia, and Dragon were increased quite substantially, so a lot of these quests are hit by my leveling guides. Um, bonus contribution points when you're following through the leveling guides. And then beyond that, guys, not a ton of crazy changes here. So yeah, quickly to recap, horse training event, if you're interested in horse training, even if you're not, every single day you log in, collect these training deliveries, take them over to the NPC Wapra to pick up a free tier 8 horse. Early graduation is available if you want that. Your artifacts and lightstones have a shared inventory now. Or I guess separate inventory, not shared inventory, a separate inventory. Don't want to start that rumor. And yeah, that's pretty much it with this patch. So if this video is going to help you here in Black Desert, do let me know in the comment section below. Also, once again, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Stay up to date with new content. Helps to grow my channel. Would greatly appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you at the next live stream over on Twitch, YouTube video right here, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.